Okay, how's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be doing a live test to see if Google is always listening on your microphone. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to close all the browsers, we're going to close everything, and then we're going to talk about this subject for a couple of minutes, just a minute or two. We're just going to talk about it. I'm just going to talk about it like I'm talking to a friend. Dog toys are what I'm the most interested in right now. If, if I were to buy something right now, it would be dog toys. If I had some money right in my wallet, I'd take it out and give it to whoever is selling dog toys is what I'm trying to say. All right, guys, I think that's that's plenty. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get back online and we'll go back to fark.com and let's take a look. Let's open up some of the same websites. Let's open up some new ones too. Um, let's see what we got here. First website up. Oh my God! It's right there. Holy shit. Everybody burn your microphones. Oh no. There's dog toys right here. Let's, uh, let's uh, click on that ad and see where it takes us. Pricefalls.com. Dog toys. Well, everybody, I think that that is conclusive evidence that your microphones are literally always listening to Alexa, what's the weather like today? Currently, in Huntington Beach it's 70 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect lots of sun with a high of 77 degrees and a low of 66 degrees. Alexa, are you spying for the NSA? There are two main ways they get hold of this information. One way is working with the companies that run these systems and tap the cables that are vital for moving all this information around. They can then sift through the huge amount of data they gather and all the messages that are there and store them in massive computer databases. Their other technique involves using their relationships with technology companies to get hold of things like emails, messages or other information straight from their US servers. Today man's phone is his castle. My question to you is why don't more people care? Because we've gone from Cold War pre 9-11 to effectively a police state that's watching your every move and everyone went, uh, ah, why? Part of it is the fact that it happened invisibly. Mm. Uh, if a politician had said, we want to watch everybody in the country, uh, people would have been up in arms about it. Revelations that have emerged in the past few months from whistleblower Edward Snowden and others have painted a disturbing picture of widespread suspicionless surveillance of American citizens. We got a wake-up call just recently. NSA snooping includes the interception and collection of call detail records and internet traffic. Including audio, video, photographs, documents, chat logs, and emails. Every American is at risk for getting caught up in the NSA dragnet. Including average citizens not suspected of a crime. We have also learned of the large-scale collaboration with telecom giants, internet companies, and service providers. Some concerned email providers have chosen to shut their doors rather than cave to government subpoenas to hand over their users' data. We've been misled. Does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir.
Now that you know you're being watched, how does that change your behavior, how you talk to your friends, and how much you trust the world around you? These revelations have changed the internet for us forever. Does privacy have a future online at all?